Caring for a responsive choking child consists of a combination of five back blows followed by five abdominal thrusts. Oswin and Isaiah will help me demonstrate care for a choking child. Ready? Yep. Ready? All right. You may need to kneel behind a small child rather than stand to give effective back blows and abdominal thrusts. The technique is the same whether you stand or kneel. To perform back blows, first position yourself to the side and slightly behind the choking child. Then place one arm diagonally across the child's chest and bend them at the waist so that their upper body is as parallel to the ground as possible, like this. This position helps remove the object and allows you to brace yourself if the child becomes unresponsive. At this point, firmly strike the child between the shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Now I'll simulate five back blows, but I will not use full force as I would if Oswin were actually choking. One, two, three, four, five. After the fifth back blow, give abdominal thrusts. Now find the child's navel with two fingers from your first hand. Then, with your other hand, make a fist and place the thumb side against the child's abdomen right above your fingers. Next, take your first hand and cover your fist with that hand, then pull inward and upward to give an abdominal thrust. I'll simulate five abdominal thrusts. Again, I'm not going to use full force. One. Two, three, four, five. Continue giving sets of five back blows and five abdominal thrusts until the child can call for speak or they become unresponsive. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. For a bigger child, you'll be standing instead of kneeling, so you'll need to modify your body position. To give back blows, stand to the side and slightly behind them like this. One, two, three, four, five. To give abdominal thrusts, stand with one foot in front of the other, placing your front foot between their feet to provide balance and stability like this. One, two, three, four, five. If a child is too large for you to reach around, or if the child is in a wheelchair, you may need to give chest thrusts. To give chest thrusts, make a fist with one hand, place the thumb side of your fist at the center of the child's chest, grab your fist with the other hand, and give quick thrusts into the chest. Watch as I simulate chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. It is important to know that back blows, abdominal thrusts, and chest thrusts are all equally effective for responsive choking, but it may take more than one technique to clear the airway.